Our day four began on Friday night here in Vancouver, and I had a party to go to. Idly aware that I had a war in my pocket, nay, a war I was losing, I decided to blow off subterfuge and get trashed. Except Nels was at the party, as was Paul, as was Lee, so we did talk about the game. But there was also a Valve Vive there, and it was awesome. An hour in, my phone beeped with a subterfuge notification. Drunk on virtual reality, and also booze, I decided to check it. What's the worst that could happen? What I saw made my heart skip a beat. Matt was sending his queen south to recapture his factory. A bold play. Let me remind you that if you lose your queen, you're eliminated from subterfuge. But that was fine. It was accompanied by a force of drillers I couldn't defeat. Or could I? You see, Matt still hasn't noticed that I can promote my lieutenant to a general. He still hasn't noticed that my specialists individually defeat 10 drillers in every fight. So he still hasn't noticed that I can actually fling my specialists at his queen one after another, each of them knocking 10 drillers off her force and be still my beating Hitler heart. I can defeat his queen. I can decapitate Matt. I've won. I won. I rushed to tell Nels, now drunk on virtual reality booze and having bested one of the top 10 leftist niche video game YouTube personalities in London. But I found myself asking Nels a strange question. Should I do this? I was saying to Nels. Suddenly, it all felt terribly cruel. I thought about knocking Matt out of the game based on rules he didn't understand. I thought about knocking out my co-founder of Cool Ghosts who'd agreed to do this diary series with me. Nels tells me to get a hold of myself. If you ever, ever get a chance to knock out another player, he says, you should do it. Matt would do the same thing to you. And that was that. I found myself queuing up the orders with trembling fingers, and the game informed me that my working was correct. Matt would be dead in eight hours. Then I had another go on the Vive. It was awesome. I think I might be done. I think I might be finished. Um... Although maybe it's for the best, because this game is so stressful. It was the last thing I thought about before I went to sleep. It was the first thing I thought about when I woke up in the morning. And I had dreams about it as well. And the dreams were not just general. They were specifically dreaming about the exact situation I'm currently in. The Queen's uh, war continues. Although fair play actually to Chris Bratt for inventing this logo. Yeah, I've been allied with Chris and Joe for... A few days now. Fantastic, fantastic piece of art this by Christopher Brown. So you know how there are only three rules to being in a nice alliance. One, be nice. Two, be in alliance. Three, for Quinns. Well, somehow, Quinns is now also part of the nice alliance. Um, or at least one of them, anyway. We haven't told him about the other alliances, like the one with Matt, or the one with Pip, or the one with Nels. Joe here. I'm in the garden, in the dark, which rather reflects my mood in subterfuge today. I, I have a, a blackened heart, blackened by the first creeping doubts. But we also haven't told him about the third rule either. I'm sure there'll be time for that later on, maybe. There's the suspicion from many players, myself included, that Chris has got into bed with Quinns, which, if you remember the tenets of the Nice Alliance, number three on that list is fuck Quinns, and that's not fucking Quinns, that's a, well, that, I mean, it, I don't want to. So, why are we working with Quinns? I thought we were against him. Well, we were, and he did have a very strong early lead, but now he's really not doing so well. I imagine he blames some of that on me. Sorry, Quinns. Um, and instead, Matt has just started to pull away himself. Like, his production at the moment, I think, is 170 drillers per day, which is ridiculous, like twice that of a lot of people. So now everyone is doing what they originally did to Quinn's, but targeted at Matt. Everyone's talking to each other, being like, oh, you seen, you seen how well Matt's doing? Maybe we should try and might do something about that instead. As time went on, I started to get kind of uneasy because the things that my friends were talking about started to come into conflict with each other and I realised just how uncomfy I was with the idea of betraying anyone but like, I found myself moving away from conversations where I was uncomfy. So we've decided to call a truce with Quinns, uh, Matt doesn't know this, and basically help Quinns, like hold Matt off for a little while whilst we deal with people like Paul and Lee who are starting to cause issues for Joe and myself and yeah, 
No one seemed to really notice what we're doing, I think. So it's looking suspicious. Uh, to be honest, the worst part of this is that it's not the actions that get to you, it's the inaction. And in this case, it's because barring the short period of time where I was on top of a cliff for a day in the countryside, me and Chris have been talking a lot. We'd talk about what we were going to do, we'd ask for advice, we'd ask for help, and that stopped. Chris isn't talking to me anymore, and I feel strangely jilted. He's not massed anything at my borders, which gives me some hope, but I wonder if it's the false hope of a soon-to-be jettisoned lover being taken to a perfunctory dinner at a Pizza Express. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the prettiest girl at the dance, because Matt is currently funding me with Neptunium or Unobtainium or whatever that resource is called, which increases my uh, driller output every day. I'm the only person being funded in the game at the moment, and it's very public. And yeah, that's happening even though I'm plotting his demise and actually putting some of those resources back into Quinn's, which, yeah, it's it's a bloody mess. I mean, I entertained the idea of just attacking him, but then it felt like if I betrayed him... I'll tell you what, the worst part of all of this entire game to me is not the stress that my actions might lead to consequences within the game. The worst part of it is the fact that there is always a chat window ready to get a sad message in it. Just having someone say, ah, oh, I wish you hadn't done that to me, that's actually the worst part of the whole game, which I think probably makes me incredibly unsuited to this kind of game. I don't know what to do. I don't want to make Brat sad. I've made Lee sad, but Lee's being made sad on many fronts, so I feel like I've got, you know, there's a large surface area on that sadness, and I only make up some of the pressure. I don't think that works scientifically. Anyway, yeah, it's tough. I'm doing a lot of pacing, and I don't know where I stand. So I've come to the conclusion I'm going to give Chris one more day. If he talks to me, then we're friends again. But if he doesn't... I'm going to destroy him. So Quinn's basically decided that he was just going to completely try and eradicate me. And how do they do that? Well, obviously he's been massively trying to defend Serenity, thinking I was going to go on that. In my defence, I never intended to go on that. All I ever wanted was Calhammer. I just wanted that factory. I was more than happy to just take that and leave. But no, at every turn, he stabbed me in the back. Didn't do what he said he'd do. I never wanted to fight him. And it's like at one point, about 24 hours ago, Quinn said to me, what could I do to make you trust me? And I'm like, nothing. He's like, Quinn's would not be a, a world leader in any democratic underwater world because people would say, well, this leader's mad. He's constantly sending us into wars. He's stabbing everyone in the back. Can't have him in charge of it. Doesn't make any sense. He's decided to go all out. So what we can see here is him sending a vast number of things. And now he's sending more reinforcements. He's sending everything. What have I done? I've tried to cripple him over here. I've taken Tyrion and I've taken a bunch of other stuff and I basically I'm just trying to, I, I realize by taking Tyrion, other people are taking his generator in the bottom. What that's doing is that just it's just completely removing his ability to reinforce. You can see these little red flashing lights on his factories. It means those factories cannot produce any more units. He's sending all of his troops. What's going to happen in about two or three hours is I'm going to come in and I'm going to take this back. It looked there like it was 46 and a queen, but it isn't 46 and a queen. It's 46 and then a ship with just the queen, just behind it, just so the assassin doesn't kill the queen. I come in, I take it, I take out his specialists, right? His specialists are gone, they're dead, but they're not, because he can get them back. Now, the thing is, he thinks that these 39 and this 45 are going to arrive, take back his specialists. Oh, but what's happened? Oh, no! Yeah, I've still got something on my sleeve, Mr. Smith. He's convinced. He's so convinced, in fact, that he's got me here that he sent me a message. Oh my god, man, I can eliminate you. I can upgrade my lieutenant to a general, then fling specialists at you one after another. Your queen dies. I could take over the diary series on day five. Or I keep you alive according to my terms. I asked him what his terms were, just out of interest. And he's like, no, shouldn't have said anything. My terms are that I'm going to decapitate you and that you enjoy the weekend and leave me to this hell. Good night, sweet prince. You're going to make a beautiful twist in the video. Well, actually, of course, this is going to make a beautiful twist in the video. The fact that I'm sending us both to hell. My queen flies in, produces a martyr, little stick of dynamite. Beep, 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 beep. It's like a game of worms, this. And then my queen just flies away. Fly away. Just outside of the blast radius. Which means boom. Blast radius. Boom. Feld is gone. But with it, four of Quentin's specials. Four of them. I built a second mine, which is, again more Neptunium and 
I figured if I could just get enough of that and just keep chatting to people and guard my own little bit of space, um, then everything would be okay. <sighs> but it then paints a target on your back because I'd misjudged the tempo of the game and so when I built the, um, the mine it absorbed a whole bunch of my drills because it was my second mine so it cost more so this was essentially my situation and then the game put a thing saying Pip will win in however many days just you know at the top of the screen and yeah that made me a target for everyone around me and it's weird because I could feel them sort of all getting a bit closer everything was getting a bit more a bit more claustrophobic I think that was when I realized that there probably wasn't a way to win peacefully really and that at some point well I mean I wasn't going to betray anyone I just I, I suddenly realized that I just wouldn't be able to um just you know I'm bad at this kind of game um and so it was just a matter of waiting to see who screwed me over I think which was you know kind of changed the, the experience so that was the situation. Um, oh dear. I think that because Quinn's is so convinced that I'm finished, he's so convinced that I have no way out of this, that he's destroyed me. I think he's told everybody else that. And I think they believe it. And the problem with that is, it means that now people are treating me like vulture meat. Nels is sending in 87 subs with a navigator, which means that they go twice as fast, and an assassin. So it looks like he's moving down with the aim of assassinating my tycoon. But it's more likely, to be honest, that he's just being pragmatic. So he thinks, well, if Matt's getting knocked out, you know, if, I, if I'm going to be gone, there's going to be all this orange space just here, and uh, you know, might as well come and take some of it, right? Because otherwise, somebody else is just going to take it. So it now becomes this thing of, of trying to convince people that oh, I'm not dead. Actually, I'm not dead. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I didn't look at how the, the, the things work. I misread a thing. I misread how the general that Quinns has got worked, which means he can just, as he said, fling specialists at me one after another until my queen dies. <sighs> I woke up hungover. My first thoughts were, oh my God, did it work? Of course it worked. There's no way it couldn't work. And it was so annoying. I had a plan. Sure, he was bombarding me with all this stuff, but I was going to blow it up. And I just kept zooming, scrubbing back and forth through that beautiful footage of him getting in. And boom, all of his specialists blown to smithereens. But it's not to be. It's not to be. Or it's not to be yet. It didn't work. Matt's alive. I'm still at war. And my specialists are captured. How? How? Oh... Oh my god, you've got to be kidding. So after sea combat with specialists, a submarine is spawned to take the captured specialist hostages back to the nearest friendly base. What I didn't know, and I guess neither did Matt because the game doesn't tell you this, but apparently, it's not even in the manual, apparently you can send your own specialists back with that hostage submarine. You can put a few people on the extra boat or something. It looks like when I was going through this, there was nothing I could do. I'd already sent my submarine with the Queen, and every time I scrub through the game, game over. Every time, game over. Your Queen is killed, game over. So I felt like there was nothing I could do. You know, the submarines are already gone. Once you send the submarines, you can't send them back. It was over. I was out of the game. So I started making other plans. I kind of said to Pip, look, Pip, you can have fate on the off chance that, you know, you can take that Basically distributing wealth, trying to make people who have wronged me less powerful. Paul's been all right as well. I don't know, maybe Paul wanted to fight me, but 
hasn't had the resources or energy to betray me. Who knows? Either way, I'm giving him Vaccarino. I'm just letting him have that. Let's have a look. Boop, boop, boop. Just, just letting him go. Letting them go. Give away fate, give away Vaccarino. Obviously, I have told Pip that there's a good chance that actually, although I'm letting her have fate, Nell's maybe taking that. So that's not my problem. I'm trying. I'm trying to be nice. But then something weird happened. I thought it was completely out of the game. And then I just tried some stuff. And one of the things I tried was I tried to just, instead of... <laughs> Instead of just giving up entirely, I thought, what happens if I gift my queen? What happens if I gift my queen? And for whatever reason, and I, don't, I haven't exactly worked this out, if I gift my queen, what happens is they go into fight and then the submarine comes back with the queen on it. And I don't actually understand why. It might be a little a weird bug. Maybe it's just not supposed to happen. And if that's the case, it doesn't really matter if that's the case or not. Quinn's is going to be furious. Because he was convinced that he had my queen. And actually what's happened here is not. Well, if this is actually going to happen, what's happened is he's taken two specialists, lost both the specialists, not lost Feld, but, you know, fair enough. I'll, don't get to blow that up. That's a great shame. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. If I can't work out a solution, then to be honest, my solution is just I'm just blowing up the mine. I'm just being a dick. I think, why not? I mean, Quinn's has been a complete tool for the whole of this game. And um, yeah, I think at the moment it looks like Nels is coming in to take out some stuff as well. They've probably agreed a 50-50 split of my territory. So I figure that my last move probably will just be to blow myself up. <laughs> just blow it all up. So make sure he can't get his specialist back either. Just being like, no, you're not having it. You're not having it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm out of the game. Um, one way or another, but I'm not going to go out without at least some form of bang. So instead of continuing on her doomed path, Matt's queen ended up just going home with my first specialist. Oh, sod it, sod it, sod it all, great balls of f So now, not only am I still in a war, I'm losing harder than ever. My A-team is dismantled, I'm no longer in the lead, and Pip just built a second mine. Today is my birthday. If you're enjoying watching this series, then you're almost definitely a terrible person, but thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to talk about it, you can go to coolghost.net, there's a link in the description. And if you'd really, really love this video series, then remember that Cool Ghosts is supported via your funding at patreon.com forward slash cool ghosts. Thank you so much again for your time. Have a great day.